We need to realize that this is a crisis. We want everyone to know what's going on and how they can help. 200 some odd species that go extinct every single day. Me and my friend Ian um, organized a climate rally. There's a whole map online of, of strikes going on all over the world and there wasn't one in Dayton. So I was like, we need, we need you know, Dayton to be educated and, and to bring this uh, climate issue to light. We feel by giving that cause a voice and letting more and more people hear about it will lead to more action being taken against climate change. We strike because it's right! In order for us to actually get the kind of coverage that we want to have, instead of just being in one place for the entirety of the day for three hours, instead we're going to walk around the entire campus and actually, you know, make sure everyone hears what we're talking about. I believe that the planet needs to be saved and I believe that everyone can change their actions to change the direction we're heading. Even if it just changes one person's mind, that's enough for me because one person leads to another and it's just a chain reaction after that. Like one person can really make a difference. Forest blaze, we breathe haze, can't afford delays. We're marching around campus and to Colonel Glenn. Um, we have signs, we're gonna do chants. I don't know what you've been told, but climate change is getting old. It's really just to, to raise awareness about this climate issue um, on campus and to anyone you know passing by on Colonel Glenn. <laughs> I'm just really excited that you know so many people showed up and I've been talking to people over the past few weeks about it. Some people weren't aware at all about the climate strikes going on around the world and so just educating people about that and really getting them to think about climate change and, and how what they can do personally to help with this issue.